We're going to talk about the blues composite scale. The blues composite scale is the mixture of the major pentatonic, which is one, two, three, five, six, that sweet country sound, and your blues scale, the one, flat, three, four, sharp, four, five, flat, seven. Now you've just learned the Dorian mode, so you've got seven notes. One way to play this would be to simply take the Dorian mode, add the three, add the flat five, and you've got blues composite. But the problem is that when you play in the blues composite, what it's really, the purpose of it is to allow you to move from the major sound of blues to the dominant or darker minor sound of blues. So we're going to play over a different jam track. We're going to play over the actual jam track of early in the morning where I have comp some blues stuff. So I'm implying a straight C7, C9, and it isn't just minor, so we can use that natural third, and we can play sweetly. And even on my solo, there were spots where it sounds a bit country, especially playing with my fingers like this and doing pedal steel type bends. I'm naturally going to be inclined to use a little bit of that major pentatonic tonality, so it'll sound sweet. But I'm just going to weave a little bit back and forth. You've already got a solo me playing using the blues composite and some other things. So you can feed your ears with the track, but make sure that you go from one side to the other. And I'll, I'll, I'll narrate this, holler it out as I play, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here we are in jam track six. So I use that natural third. Listen to the comp. It's getting out, isn't it? So what happened there in my comp in the back? Because remember, when I'm soloing, you know, I'm just listening to what I played. I don't. This is all improvisation stuff, right off the top of my head. So I don't know exactly what I played, but I have ears, so I'm gonna listen. So when I hear my comp go, I might play with it or I'll play against it. See what I mean? So when I heard some of these moves, I know where these notes are and I know what the pitch is. Blah blah blah. That's what you want to get to where you can do. So anyway, right before I shut the tape off here, you heard it change, didn't you? It started, harmonically, it started getting kind of out. Well, in our next lesson, we're going to talk about what to play over those out sounds.